guys, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. All right, look. We all knew that we was playing with a backup quarterback. We all knew that eventually something was going to go wrong. Now, for those of y'all who tuned into the Giants Outsiders podcast on Wednesday with me and Kyle Pizzle, we broke down the game. I specifically said we're coming off an emotional win Monday Night Football versus the Packers. We play the Eagles next week on Christmas. We were not supposed to beat the Saints. The Saints was the ultimate bad spot. You are supposed to bet on the Saints. The Giants are supposed to lose. We just had an emotional win. We have the biggest game of our season next week versus the Eagles. This game was the sandwich game. To quote you pussy-ass Eagle fans who've been crying for the past couple weeks about bad schedule spots. Oh, the 49ers is a bad schedule spot. We just beat the Bills, and, and we looking forward to the Cowboys, man. That's why we lost to the 49ers. Well, that's why the Giants lost to the Saints. We just beat the Packers. We're getting ready for the Eagles. The Saints was a team in between. Our defense has been lights out for two months. They was due for a letdown. My man Tommy Two Guns been playing lights out for a month. We were due for a letdown. As a Giants fan, I'm not mad we lost. This is the first time my team has lost in over a month. If we hadn't got off to such a bad start, this wouldn't be a bad loss. But because we lost to the Bills, because Tyrod and Brian Dable are fucking stupid. Because we lost to the Jets, because Brian Dable is fucking stupid. We're in this situation where we had no room for error. So at the end of the day, Giants fans, we have no business going to the playoffs because guess what? You know who the number two seed is, Giants fans? The number two seed is the winner of the NFC East. Whether that's Philly or it's Dallas, we was getting put in a pack if we got the seventh seed in the NFC. Because the seventh seed travels to the two seed, the six travels to the three, the four plays the five. Even if we made it to the playoffs, we was going to get rolled on a pita the minute we step foot on their field. Let's take our L. Let's see how Tommy Two Guns finishes out the season. Is he going to be here long term or are we going to draft Jaden Daniels out of LSU? That's what we're looking forward to. We're not trying to tank. The tank is dead. Okay? Realistically speaking, the last winnable game on our schedule was the Saints. We lost it. We're not supposed to beat the Eagles at all. We're not supposed to beat the Rams at all. So the next three weeks will be losses. But we need to see how Tommy DeVito responds. We need to see if he's that guy or not. Because if he's not, we're going to be in the top 10. Penix, Jaden Daniels, if we want to move up a trait, we're going to have options. You understand me? So at the end of the day, does it suck losing to that bum Derek Carr? Sure. Does it suck that Tommy DeVito got hurt, had to come back in the game? Sure. But Giants fans, we live in reality. Okay, we, we, we knew we weren't going to the playoffs. We knew this. I told y'all this on Wednesday night live on the podcast. I said there's no way in hell. We're winning the last three weeks of the season. The last winnable game was New Orleans. And we lost. So at the end of the day, fellas, it is what it is. This wasn't the year for us. Daniel Jones played the worst football I've ever seen in my 34 years of living. The first six weeks of the season. And then when Tyrod Taylor came in and made the offense competent, Brian Dable wanted to coach like a doofus. He didn't want to give Saquon the ball versus the Bills. He didn't want to give Saquon the ball versus the Jets. The best kicker of football, Grant Cano, was missing field goals. I mean, he just wasn't in the year, bro. I know everybody's lost in the sauce. So we got the Italian Stallion, Tommy DeVito this and Tommy DeVito that. He's the third string quarterback. 
Newsflash, our starter who gets paid $40 million to not score touchdowns towards ACL at the injury in his neck. Our $7 million backup, the first black man in the history of the Giants to start a football game and win, had four cracked ribs. Tommy DeVito was a third string quarterback. I get it. Y'all live in Jersey. You live in New York. It's nice to have somebody who looks like you play quarterback. Now all you Italians know how us black people felt when Tyrod Taylor was starting and won us a game. Every black man was proud when we saw Tyrod Taylor play. So I get it. You rooting for the guy who looks like you. But at the end of the day, this Giants team ain't it. On offense, at least. Our defense, you know, our defense do what it do. But this is how it is. Let's just finish out the season. Let's beat the Eagles once. And we could go into the offseason happy people. Let's just spoil the Eagles season. We could beat them one time, Giants fans. That's it. We just got to beat them one time. If we could be the reason that the Eagles have to play all three road games in the playoffs to go to the Super Bowl, I'll take that. I will gladly take that. The Giants have one more good game left in us. As long as it happens in one of them two Eagle games, that's all we should care about. This game versus Saints, where we, where we let Jimmy Graham look like it's 2013, throw it away. This game versus Saints, where Derek Carr actually look good, throw it away. I right, just throw it away. This game is this game is a waste. Pretend it didn't happen. All right, let's just look. Move on to the Eagles. Let's not get embarrassed on Christmas. And we good. I don't want to see nobody coming to my comment section. Talking about some, oh my gosh, we're not going to the playoffs and you know, the season's over. The season's been over for a fucking month. We were two and eight. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Talking about playoffs when we were two and eight a month ago. Get on my damn nerves. Oh, we're going to go on a magical carpet run. Oh, if you wasn't rocking when we was two and eight, don't hop on the bandwagon. Now, what bandwagon? We were two and eight for a reason. If you hopped on that bandwagon, you deserve a fucking dying crash. Fucking bandwagon. Oh, if you didn't believe in us when we were two and eight, don't root for us now. Don't root for us. Now. Shut the fuck up. We was two and eight for a reason. And then they want to win games and blow our Caleb Williams pick. The hell is wrong with y'all? But anyway, when it's all said and done, this was a very, very eventful season. And I trusted Joe Shane and Brian Dable this offseason will rectify the wrongs. I ain't got nothing else to say. The fifth unit question of the day. Before we wrap up, the fifth unit question of the day is as follows. Has Tommy DeVito done enough to be the number two? And should we roll with Daniel Jones or draft Jaden Williams in the first round? So the question of the day is, what is the hierarchy? Rookie quarterback, Tommy DeVito, or Daniel Jones, Tommy DeVito? What do you want to see week one of the 2024 season? Throw those FUs in the chat. If you're rocking with me, my name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.